Good morning, YouTube. This is my first official week of um, running my solo professional career at Westside. So it is um, around 6.30 in the morning, and I am heading to um, my truck. I'm getting my things ready. I took most of my stuff over yesterday, so I didn't have to worry about it today because I'm walking to my truck. My truck is only um, six blocks from my house. So basically, I don't want to leave my uh, car there for, you know, a week or whatever happens. So uh, I got lucky and found a place that has parking so I can walk there. And it's only 53 degrees outside. Or, I mean, it's up to 53 degrees in the middle of February. So I got lucky. Getting ready to walk up to my truck, though. I got a load out of Marion, Indiana. Uh, I pick up at 8 p or 8 a.m. and then I run all the way to Cedar Rapids. So it's gonna be a full day for me. And uh, anyway, I just want to take you along with me. So welcome to my vlog. Welcome to my vlog. Hashtag Drive the West Side. Hey guys, made it to the truck. Um, luckily last night, what I did was I did my pre-trip. And here at Westside, they actually give you a route suggestion. Um, we never did that with my um, trainer, so I went ahead and looked at different situations. Um, you grab your atlas, you can look at, because uh, you get to, they like you to avoid toll roads. It's not that you can't do toll roads, they just don't like you to do them, and you have to go through a process to do them, so it's just easier to avoid them. And the um, I'm heading to Cedar Rapids, um, the way I took there and back was uh, from Indianapolis was I-74 because it runs straight up to Davenport and you can run right up to 80 and then over to Iowa City and then up to Cedar Rapids. It's real easy. The only problem is it's about you know an hour south of here to go to Indianapolis to hit 74. I'm heading 25 minutes north to Marion and they wanted me to go through Chicago and avoiding the toll roads was a little tricky. Um, so I decided to look at different ways to go, and uh, I looked at their um, at their trip plan, and it basically has me taking uh, once I leave out of Indiana, or once I sorry once I get up northern Indiana, U.S. Highway 30. It runs all the way across to um, uh, Illinois, and it hits 80. And then once I hit it, I'm gonna my fuel stop is like right almost right there, so. Uh, I hit my fuel stop in LaSalle, and then I can run 80, like I said, right up into um, Iowa City and then 380 North. So I'm going to take their suggested route today and see how it goes. It's uh, about half U.S. and state highways, and the other half is interstate, so it's going to be interesting to see. So anyway, I'm going to get my pre-trip done and um, hold my all that good stuff, and I want to try to get out of here by 7.30. Um, it's, like I said, it's 25 minutes north, and my appointment's at 8, and I figure the sooner I get there, the better if, I, if there's a line or something. and you know, Because it's a live load, I want to get backed up to the dock, and I want to get loaded. So I'm going to do everything I can to get in there as quick as I can because I don't know how long it's going to take to load me. And once I get loaded, it's uh, straight on the Cedar Rapids. So I will talk to you guys later. See you. Hey, what's up, y'all? Interesting start to my day. I showed up here right at 8 o'clock to get my load. I'm supposed to be able to be picked up between 8 and 5. And they're telling me it's not scheduled till 7 p.m. So I had to call dispatch, and they're trying to find me another load. So I'm just hanging out in the parking lot. Yeah, buddy. So what a way to start my first load. I don't know where I'm going to go, but I got to sit here and wait till they tell me. So I'm going to... Just gonna chill out. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, I just got my new dispatch orders. Uh, since I can't pick up here, I'm heading down to Shelbyville, Indiana, and then up to Romulus, Michigan. So, um, I've heard horror stories about Romulus. It's around Detroit. Uh, not getting in as much as getting out. They usually have broker loads, which are a pain in the butt. But I guess I'll find out for myself. You know, I like to find out for myself. I don't like to take people's word for stuff. So, 
Um, you know, my trainer was always telling me it was a pain in the butt, but you know, to him, maybe it may not be for me. So I got to await my, uh, load plan. I've already got my preload, but I need the, um, load plan to come through with the address and all the information so I can actually get a trip plan together and figure out where I'm going. Um, looks like I got about 54 miles unloaded. It says, yeah, it sounds about right. And then I got to head up to Romulus. So, uh, I also, it shows I deliver tomorrow. So I don't know if I can deliver tonight or if I need to pull up there and wait till eight o'clock in the morning to deliver or what. So I might have to find that out and go from there. But that's the update. <laughs> Started, uh, my first week off a little, little hokey, but, uh, hey man, welcome to trucking, right? Hurry up and wait. So I'll uh, get back with y'all when I figure out what's going on. Later. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you a little trip planning here. And uh, since I got my new route, um, I'm gonna trip plan it on my Atlas, which I just did. I'm gonna kind of show you what's going on here. All right, so you open it up. I'm in Indiana right now. I mean, I'm in uh, Marion, which is right here. So what I will do is I'm gonna take 69 down sorry I'm gonna take 69 down to exit 222 because I know this because I'm from here I live here and I can run highway 9 all the way down to Shelbyville to pick up my order and I can run highway 9 back up to 69 and I'm gonna run it all the way to Fort Wayne and around to 469 to US 24 and when you get to US 24 all you got to do let me find Ohio real quick sorry about this so all you gotta do is when you hit 24. Okay, right here is 24 out of Fort Wayne, and it runs all the way up here to Toledo. And you take the bypass around Toledo, you don't hit any toll roads, and you take 75. And 75 will take you right into Romulus, Michigan. Um, let me see if I can show you that real quick. So for you guys that don't know how to trip plan, this is an easy way to trip plan. If you notice right down here at the bottom, I'm coming out of Toledo. Like I said, I want to take that around at 75. The 75 runs right there to Romulus. So that's the that's the way I'm going to take. So I've already got my trip plan done. Uh, looks like my dispatch just came through. And uh, I'm going to try to get on the road so I can get going. So just wanted to show you that. Thanks. Peace. Hey, what's up, guys? I am in Monroe, uh, Michigan. I um, I'm on a camp here tonight. <laughs> I have actually 12 hours before I even have to leave because I couldn't deliver tonight and I don't deliver till 8 a.m. Um, my fuel stop was actually 15 miles south of here at a pilot and I was planning on staying there, but it was like ridiculously crowded. I mean like overcrowded. People were parking on the side of the road. So I just basically got my fuel, took my 30 minute break. Luckily a guy let me park next to him since I was only there for 30 minutes. And I ran, I looked on my um, apps. One thing I, <clears throat> I don't know if I ever went over with, always download every app. Download the Pilot app, which is Pilot Flying J. Download Loves and download TA. And you can hit it and it'll GPS where you're at and it'll show you uh, uh, one near me. Well, luckily, 15 miles away was a nice TA with 194 spots and it had 15 open. So I hurried up and got down here and I got one real, actually got lucky and got close to the front. Um, got my truck done and uh, closed up, got my curtains up and ran in. They got a Popeyes in there and a, they got a cafe and they got uh, um, uh, Tim Hortons, which I'd never seen <laughs> south of Canada. But I ended up going up there, get some chicken and um, chilling out here. Uh, I ended up running, I'm just 20 miles south of my stop, so I don't have very far to go tomorrow, so that's cool. I'll wake up. And get up, do my pre-trip, do all my stuff, and head up to uh, Romulus and um, drop off my load. And I'm actually uh, waiting my load for tomorrow to see where I go from there because they had me uh, scheduled wrong. Uh, I'm a flex guy, and I'm supposed to be home Wednesday night. And the poor guy who's dispatching, uh, he's dispatching for a few people, so he's kind of you know running, you know, his hair on fire, and. Um, Luckily, Justin, our head of recruiting, shout out to you, Justin, who not only is uh, head of recruiting, but is the guy that uh, 
got me into doing the vlogging for him. Um, luckily, he helped me, you know. Um, I preach family there all the time. And, you know, that's what's cool. Like, I felt like I was out here by myself. And I had Justin's cell phone number from his email. And I, I texted him and he called me right away. And um, he ended up getting a hold of the dispatcher because he knows him. And they're going to fix me a load home tomorrow as opposed to... I was supposed to go to Iowa and then deliver Thursday and um, you know I took the dedicated flex route because uh, you have basically Wednesday night your 10 hours you can do your 10 hours like I'm doing right now you do your 10 hours of Wednesday at home and then you have your weekends off and I have my son on Wednesday so it works out perfect so shout out to you Justin uh, just just one more uh, way that I told you their family Justin was right there for me, helped me out, and, and, you know, after hours and took care of it for me. And just, like I said, one more way of showing you what Westside will do for you, man. Um, I thought I was screwed until tomorrow, and, and Justin stepped up and helped me, so thank you, Justin. Um, it's pretty uh, cool. I, it was my first day, actually, out going out by myself. Um, you know, a side coming over from Cedar Rapids. This is my first day doing by myself. I got a broker load, so that was kind of cool. Um, it was easy pickup, man. It was an easy dock. So I got lucky there. I don't know what I'm gonna run into tomorrow, but yeah, I, usually the uh, docks are kind of hard on broker loads, from what I've heard. And when I ran a couple broker loads with my trainer, they were they were tight, tight. So I'm hoping that I get an easy back in tomorrow, nothing crazy. Um, and then I get dispatched, maybe back to Indy, and can drop off a load, pick up an empty, and go home. Um, but I'm going to chill out the rest of the night. I'm going to upload these vlogs. <clears throat> Excuse me. And since I've got 12 hours, I'm going to pop in a movie, watch a movie, and just lay down and hang out and chill and just relax and enjoy my first night out here on the road as an official professional solo driver. So, um, hey, it's like 60 outside, too, and I'm in Michigan. You can't beat that. So, um, anyway, that's going to do it for this one. And uh, I'm going to close this night off with hashtag drive for Westside. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.